Hey, hi, hello, YouTube. It's your boy, Debbie Doves, and we are back with another video. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, we got a BTS performance, two actually, or two songs, at the 2020 American Music Awards. They're performing Dynamite, their number one single. <laughs> we all know it, we all heard it. And they're performing a song from their new album, The Intro, which is Life Goes On, my personal favorite. I don't wanna waste anybody's time, so we gonna get right into this performance, because I'm excited. Who is that that walked out and joined them late? boys that do the upper harmonies their voices are sick um is it Jimin and I'm not finna do this I'm not finna do this Come on. Oh. You really like this group? I feel like people are so used to them being known for their performances that, but you gotta kind of like take a step back and listen to their vocals too. Like you got, you can't just look at them as a performance group. The, the same way people look at Beyonce, they just look at her like she's just a performer and that she can't start vocals. I feel the same way, or I feel like people look at this group the same way. You have to listen to what they doing in the background. Cause their harmonies be so sick. They be layering them so well. Like, like the I forgot who it was earlier, but Jimin and I think Jung Cook were singing, and then V and somebody else was singing with him. The blonde one next to him, I think. But when the first two were singing, they harmonized so well, and then the second two they were harmonizing as well. And I just feel like they're underrated when it comes to their vocals like people i don't see enough things about people talking about their vocal ability just the performance part which is good but like don't sleep on their vocals i love his voice i think he has the highest voice out of all of them right Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, this is so sick. If they're going to do one thing, they're going to give you a grandiose stage to perform on, no matter where they are. Oh, 
Love that. I kind of feel like, I kind of like the poeticness, the poetry, I guess, in them performing their first song from the album and then their last song from the album. I, I don't know why I find it poetic or what it means, but I just, I, that's how I feel about it. Hey. Oh, come on, wardrobe change. Hey, oh, they all look so sick. So good. Almost cost, but I didn't. Hey. Hey, oh my god. I love their energy in this performance. Like, I feel like they always come with energy, but something about this one is elevated to me. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. Do y'all feel the same way? Let me know if y'all feel the same way. I just feel like, like, I don't even know how to explain it. I just, I'm excited. More excited than I normally am. Ladies and gentlemen, I got the so you should keep your eyes on the ball. This is got a I'm Hey. Oh my god, is there anything that they cannot do? Of course, they saved them for last. That makes so much sense. You know you really made it when award shows want you to perform, but they save your performances for last so they can keep people engaged and watch the entire time. That's how you know you made it. They save you for last and they keep their audience up until the very end because people like to leave but when you get to the end of the show or after they watch your favorite person. But if your favorite person is BTS, you're gonna stay and watch everything. They always snap. First of all, I'm happy they performed my favorite song, Life Goes On, but I feel like this was probably my favorite performance of Dynamite. This one they were like on an actual stage with core and their their choreo was much more high energy than it normally is. They always come in with choreo but I feel like every single person was like powered up super saiyan to the max. Like it was amazing. Listen I have not gotten tired of Dynamite. I did like I like Life Goes On more as a song, but if I have to judge these performances, I have to give it to Dynamite because of their energy. Their energy and their choreo and just the way that they interacted was just top notch. Whereas with Life Goes On, it's a slower song, so they're not dancing, they're not moving, they actually just stood there singing, which is okay, because that was a portion of the show that showcased their vocals, and then Dynamite showcased <laughs> everything else that they can do. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on my social medias. I know that's not a big deal to y'all, but it helps me out a great deal. So if you can do those things, please uh, make sure you subscribe to me. Comment down below what you liked about their performance, which one you liked better. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you are always notified when I post new videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.